who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Listen up, take your ears and let them hear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Penford Sports Podcast. As always, I am your host, Adam Alchuk, along with... Austin Rahilly. And we are getting into it. New chairs. Yes. Because the bench we were sitting on... Almost broke. Yeah, we were... It was uh, <laughs> It was creaking and crawling, and it just wasn't a vibe. So I took some chairs and put them in here. Um, much more comfortable. We don't have to rest against the wall. No, this is good. Um, yeah. Yeah. But this is your place for all news, updates, drama on the NFL. And what a week it has been. A week indeed. And you know, it all started on Saturday. So, I want to welcome our guests, Zach Snyder, Chris Hilchey. Zach, how we doing tonight? Better than I deserve. And Chris. Feeling good. Even though you're laid up with the COVID. That's right. Another day, another dollar. It's like a, a free vacation. He's like COVID strong. Pretty pretty much a free vacation, yes. Thanks for the five days. Yeah, there you go, bro. There you go. Lots of time to beat Austin at Madden. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was that was amazing. <laughs> keep, keep it coming. Um, but all right. Beat me once. <laughs> he still won't go live. He still won't go live. With I'll go live tonight, dog. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> sheesh. Well, let's get into the games. Um, John Cologne was supposed to join us tonight, but for whatever reason, he's not here, and it's too bad because the first game is the Jaguars facing off against the Chiefs. And too bad because I was going to rip into him all night. Yeah, I mean... We need to have a boxing match. <laughs> Here's the deal. The Jags... I think we just What? I said, I think we just give him a bet, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's that would work, too. Um, the Jags had a le- legitimate shot at winning that. A very legitimate shot. Only lost by a touchdown. Only lost by a touchdown. And honestly, it's not honestly. not bad at all, at all. Here's the biggest thing out of that game, though. Patrick Mahomes, high ankle sprain. I'm going to say this on the air. With a high ankle sprain, Patrick Mahomes isn't able to run around. He isn't able to, you know, do his weird little his weird little run game. Without that, he is about as good as an average quarterback. Granted, he can throw the ball a bit better, but without his little running and and you know maneuvering around the pocket and and blocking you know avoiding defenders. He's pretty much average. So I think that this injury is going to be extremely detrimental to the Chiefs this Sunday when they face off against the cold killer who is Joe Burrow. But we're going to talk about how good Joe Burrow is in a little bit. But what are our thoughts on that game, fellas? I mean, wow. Patty Mahomes. Okay, so I don't like him at all. Nor do I. Um, I think it was a... He really showed up. You know, even with a high angle sprain. He still played. that. He has heart. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. He's a dog. But he's still a... Still bottom of the barrel quarterback. Mm. Mm. Chris. Yeah. What are we thinking about Patty Mahomes so, I mean, and his high ankle sprain? With this high, with this high ankle sprain, you're pretty much looking at an average quarterback like Daniel Jones, kind of. Mm-hmm. Um, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a. Like, mm. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. So. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes, I don't think he's gonna be. He's obviously not going to be 100%. He's probably going to be about 70%. Mm-hmm. 
with that sprain. Um, but that 30% he, is going to be his run game that he's not going to have. Um, yeah, he's definitely not going to be able to run. So he was seen uh, getting put in a boot after the game. Um, supposedly he's not going to be on crutches for the whole week. And it's looking like he's still going to start for the game this weekend. Yeah, I mean. So, yeah. but don't don't expect yeah. you know, two hundred and fifty, three hundred yards passing. It's not going to happen. Yeah, I mean that's kind of their guy. He kind of has to start. I'm going uh, one fifty at the most. Major major change of pace in the run game. So, Pacheco looked hot too. Yeah, Pacheco is good. He's, He's going to stay hot. Yeah. Um, Travis Kelsey also went off. Two tutties. Uh, but like I said, like the Jags had a legitimate chance at beating them. There were a couple really missed opportunities from that Jaguars offense. I mean, Trevor Lawrence was putting the ball in these guys' hands, and they weren't catching it. Let's, let's talk about their defense. Honestly, holding the Chiefs to 27 Dude, is pretty Jenkins. Impressive. There was a play where I saw Jenkins was going the total opposite way of where um, the, uh, the the Scanlon was going. Yeah, like I, he he just completely lost him, and it was it was horrible. He looked like Eli Apple out there. Yeah, seriously, even worse. Burnt. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm still impressed that they held him to 27 though. Oh, for real. Yep. But there were a lot of times in that game where Jacksonville's defense just looked absolutely lost. Like you said, mm-hmm. like they just did not know what was going on. Yep. Um, if they had stepped up a little bit more, I think they would have been, I think they probably would have won. Yeah. I mean, I think, and, and that's the thing. And I go back to, you know, big reason they didn't win is there were these, these, these throws that Trevor's putting in, in his guy's hands and he's not Turnovers. catching like, and I said this in – I forget which week it was, but I think it was actually when they played the Giants. But I said Trevor Lawrence's biggest problem is that his receivers can't catch. Mm-hmm. This man can put it in your hands and you can't catch it. You can't blame him. You can't say he didn't do enough. But either way, that affects – so even if Trevor Lawrence puts a, a hot pass on – Say Christian Kirk and he Frozen drops rope. it. That's still going to look bad on Trevor Lawrence because he dropped it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's so it's sucks. Like, it sucks that it's that so, way. Yeah. So why are we looking? Yeah, exactly. It's like okay, he puts it in their hands, they drop it. Trevor's numbers go way down. Right. But I think Trevor Lawrence proved to the nation and to all fans of well, the he's NFL. He's a dog in the NFL. Yeah, and that next year, and once this jaguars you know when they draft building around him they have to draft defense yeah defense and a couple wide receivers they for sure need wide receivers a hundred percent they need people that can actually catch and yeah they need to beef up on defense but i mean this is a team that's that's uh nine and eight and got to the divisional round of the of the the scariest part about the jaguars is they're they're so young and talented Mm -hmm. so they're gonna be relevant for the next couple years that's right and they're just going to keep yeah. building that team around Trevor. They're just going to keep exactly. building it around him. So, I said this last week, and the same with the Lions. Yeah, you know, they're, they're going to be a threat for the next couple yeah. years. Yep. But they just need to draft right. Yeah. They need to coach right and draft right. That you have the talent, you have the players. You the coaching needs to be there because the Lions coaching isn't that good. Um, Zach, what do you think about the the Lions coach? I mean. The uh, the whole state of Michigan seems to love your head coach. Um, no, I mean he's good, but but he's not like a like a Dave Wall. Or... Yeah, I want to hear from the 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 Michigan native. I mean, what what are what are your thoughts on on kind of you know this this Giants coaching staff or this uh, well, so look, Lions? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you look at Dave Campbell or Dan Campbell, whatever the <laughs> his name is, and he doesn't. <laughs> guy at all you know he looks like a hard-nosed football guy he kind of reminds me of my middle school coach he always told me snyder you better get on the balls of your fear i'm gonna chop your heels off he was real fire he put some fire in your pants you know what i'm saying he's that kind of guy kind of kind of reminds me of uh a manny christopher yeah <laughs> 
That's funny. Yeah. It's that real tough guy. He's not very smart, but he's going to you know, he's gonna challenge you physically, you know? So, I mean, we like the guy. He's, he's a high-emotion guy. He puts everything he has into the game. I mean, everyone likes Campbell. Whatever, whatever you want to say his first name is, I think that's irrelevant. I think it's Dan Campbell. Mr. Campbell. I think it's Dan. Yeah, yeah. You know, he reminds, like me, Dave you know, he reminds me of a young uh, Coach Levesque, if you will, Zach. Um, you know, <laughs> have you read a book in a minute? You know, p- quit playing with your tallywhacker and read a book. You know, like he's, he, he's going to he's going to give you that that harsh lingo. You know, he's going to no, th- that's what they need. He's going to tell you what it is. You know, and he's also that's what a young man needs. Right. What was there was the clip in that HBO series that the defense that the they've been doing like a H, there's an HBO series about like NFL teams, and he was in one and someone asked him a hard. question. What is it? Hard knocks. Hard knocks. Yeah, hard yep. knocks. He was in it, and someone asked him a question, and I swear <laughs> it was the longest pause between the question and his answer in the history of everything. The lady asked him the question. He sits there. And a couple times it looked like he was about to say something. He'd be like. And the best part is the editor said, leave it in. Yeah. Leave it. Yeah. Zach, what? I mean, you're an editor. What would you have done? Would you have left it in? Well, those moments like that are so precious and natural. You're watching a character, Mm. so to say, Mm. go through so many thoughts in his head. Mm. Like, what's he about to say? He's obviously going through a lot of emotions and he's thinking of the right thing to say. And you can just tell that guy, you know, he feels a lot, right? He it's doesn't beauty run. in the silence. He doesn't walk, right? He runs. He doesn't like. He loves. This mm. guy jumps as far as he can. Like, he's that guy that just gives it all, and, and, and you love that as a football coach. You have to love it. But as I was saying, the Lions just need to beef up in the draft. As do the, the Jaguars. Is, yeah, They're both right. going to be legit threats. Right. So the Jaguars as, – go ahead. Oh well, I just wanted to add my my two cents here on the game. I thought it was yeah, please do. You know, a phenomenal. It was a phenomenal back and forth game. The Jags really had a chance. Uh, Sunshine, a chance. Tre- Trevor Lawrence was out there, like you guys said, throwing great balls. He was scrambling. He was he was out there cracking pads with the safeties. Dude, the that I was mean, a, that was. I was like, yeah. yo, go Trevor, dude. He was <laughs> damn looking like Derrick yeah, Henry he out there. there. He was out there playing like a dog. You love to see it, but you also gotta you gotta you gotta give respect where where respect is due. And uh, you know, Patrick Mahomes was on one leg and he got the mm. job done. Like I, much like you guys, I don't really care for Mahomes, but you gotta respect the effort that oh, he had. Of course, on, yeah, you have Saturday to. Yeah. Or Sunday. Just like LeBron yeah. James, I hate LeBron James with a passion, but as a basketball player, he's one of the best. Yep. You have to respect, you know. The effort they put in and, and the amount of you know endurance those guys go through. I mean, this guy was playing injured the whole game pretty much, and he he, he went out there and played like a champ. So um, you love to see that. But the Chiefs did end up beating the Jaguars twenty-seven to twenty, and then we had the saddest game I've watched in my whole life: <sighs> losing by a score of seven to thirty-eight. The Giants went down to Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, it wasn't 53-2, to, to two, as Zach would say, <laughs> but it was pretty close. He was hammered at the end. He was hammered, <laughs> and apparently I was hammered for thinking the Giants had a chance. They, well, they realistically did have a chance. Everything fell apart. They they gave up after first quarter. Everything for, fell after apart. First quarter, after they that gave first up. quarter, it was, it was done. And there was nothing they were doing to even try to get the game back. And it was nope. just, I turned it off in the third quarter. I said, I'm not even watching this anymore. This is an embarrassment to the Giants team this season. It's an embarrassment to what Coach Dable had put on the field this year. It's an embarrassment to the state of New York. New York got embarrassed twice last this, this past weekend. All for what? Stupid Philadelphia. I hope Philadelphia loses in the next round. They will. I really, I they really will. hope that, and I pray that with a passion. Who are they playing, Brock mm. Birdie? Mm. It's disgusting. But Zach, you expected the Eagles to blow it out. Either you expected them to blow it out, or you just gave some bogus claim, which you typically do. 
But either way, I mean, what were your thoughts on the game? Well, let me just first say there are no bogus Yeah, they're claims. all bogus, dude. They're all bogus. All you do is make bogus claims. You see here, no, 53 to 2. You think, so you're telling me 53 to 2, they're going to get 53 points and then the Giants are only going to get a safety. Yeah, okay, bud. Well, listen, bud. My score was a lot closer than <laughs> no, yours. No, you listen score. here, bud. <laughs> bud. 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 Listen, bud. <laughs> ah, blow me. <laughs> <laughs> he has mouth wide open. Ah, right there. Say the time and place. I'll be there. And trust me, it'll be the best blow of your life. <laughs> no, I'll be honest, man. I just hate the Giants. So that's why I picked that score. Why do you I've hate the Giants the- for? They're just man. I just hate their uniforms. I hate everything about <laughs> they're them. They're the dog. classiest. They're like one of the classiest uniforms in the league, though. No, their uniforms do suck. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't mean, gonna bro? lie. But but that's not a reason to hate Hold the Giants. What do you what do you mean the uniform sucks? Blue, red, and and white, dude. Have, I that's mean, the same colors as the the freaking Patriots. No, you're wrong. They're silver, red, and white. Or oh. Red and blue. Oh gosh. <laughs> 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 Hate the red, white, and blue of America. Exactly. At least, at least Christopher's a patriot. Gosh, <laughs> the rest of you go fight in the Iraqi war Is there against white America. In this? Why don't you? Silver, blue. No, yeah, yeah. In their white. logo, there's white. Not silver. No. It's okay, silver so they're white and white. silver, blue and red. Sorry. They're red, white, and blue with a little bit of spice. A little spice. <laughs> but anyway, back to your bogus claim. You hate the Giants. But no. But for he, some reason you like the Eagles. He he doesn't. But he, for some reason you like the Eagles. Tell me in what world that makes sense. Whoa, 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 Hate whoa, the Giants no. and love the Eagles. No, wow. hold on. He doesn't love the Eagles. He loves the Bills, which in fact they have the same color. Team. Yeah, they do. Right. Pretty much. They do. Like the it's Bills red, current, blue. No, dude. Like the Bills' current uniforms look like the Giants' uniforms from the nineties. Just yeah, just a different style. A little but bit. It's the same. A little bit. But anyway, Zach. The Bills. The Bills uniforms look a lot better than the Giants uniforms. Let's be honest. They're the guys. same. It's just different style. Bro, shut up. Style. Exactly. Shut the style. Up, style. Zach, you want to talk about style? Let's see your style, bud. Bro, I feel like I, <laughs> out of anybody here, have the most say when it comes to style. Yeah. Yeah. It's about, yeah. It's about what you like. It's all subjective, my guy. Well, I'll give you subjective. The Bills suck. I'll give we'll you talk about that later. Oh. Say less. <laughs> All right, Zach. So l- I'll stop inter- interrupting you for right now and let you speak. What do you want me to talk about, man? The Giants. Why the do you game. hate the Giants? The game. I didn't even watch the game, bro. I figured oh, it, was then shut up. it wasn't worth it. Shut up. Jalen Hurts was going to blow still, him out. I don't know where Chris went. His phone is like pointed at the He's ceiling. Probably him. Oh, there he is. There he is. All right. I'm, uh, I'm just waiting for y'all to, to... Let's just speak, Chris. All right. in. So Jalen Hurts made the... Jalen Hurts and that rushing game made this game look like nothing was even going on. Jalen Hurts made it look easy, man. There was no facial expressions. There was no smiling. There was no trash talk, none of that. They just went to work, man, on the Giants. <laughs> the Giants gave and up after the first quarter. Two, and... What, 270 son rushing yards against the Giants? And <laughs> they didn't belong there, dude. They didn't, the Giants did not even belong there in the first place. The, the Detroit Lions over, over the Giants belong there. <laughs> I'm not even playing right now, dude. They would have at least scored uh, a couple touchdowns. Tony, this house is on. <laughs> I second that. I second that the Lions would have. Shut up uh, about the Lions. I don't want to hear about Dan Campbell. I don't want to hear about the Lions. I don't want to hear about Jared Goff. I don't want to hear about him at all. Here's what I want to hear about. That the Lions lost to the freaking Green Bay, or they beat the Green Bay Packers and still didn't make the playoffs. How does that work, bud? How does that work, bud? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even make the Playoffs, bud. The Lions got screwed, bud. The li- everyone's betting against the Lions. Playoffs? Show up at the tree outs, bud. <laughs> Unbelievable. I got to move past this game. I got. I have to. I have to move past the game. All right. Next game, another bloodbath. And you know what, Zach? Let me rip into you for a little bit. You said you've been saying every episode this season, 
man, I really think this is the Bills' year. I think Josh Allen's looking good. I think they're a solid team. There's a... Tell that to Joe Burrow, bro. Tell it to Joe Cole. Tell it to Joe Shiesty. Tell it to the man who beat them 27 to 10. He made that Detroit, that uh, that Buffalo team look like they were freaking peewees, bro. Joe Burrow stomped all over him. He was the number one player this week. The number one player this week. Dude, Joe Burrow's just different in the playoffs, dude. He's he an really animal. Is. Animal. How about those Buffalo Bills? How about Josh Allen? Only scoring one touchdown. And I think, was it a running touchdown? Did he even throw it? I'm not know. sure. There, I believe there was one, yeah, the, the, the one touchdown was to Dawson Knox. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Either way, Josh Allen looked like a scrub. He looked like... A scrub. And Joe Actually, Burrow. You know what he looked like? Well, <laughs> a scrub. A scrub. <laughs> hey, Austin. What did Joe Burrow what look gr- like? An animal. A scrub. Oh. Oh, not Joe Burrow. Oh, yeah. That's no, what sorry. I said. Yeah. He looked like an animal. What did Josh Allen look like? A scrub. A scrub, yeah. Um, Joe Burrow. Joe Shiesty. In the cold, in the snow, Joe, in Buffalo. Joe Burr. Dude, he turned Buffalo into his, his backyard. That's and what that was, guy did. It was snowing, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Dude, there was a there was a clip when I was watching the game. They put a camera on him, and he's got this serious face right as they're about to snap the ball. And he's looking around, just like locked What's in. Yours, Bob? And the snow's like coming in. What? It was the coldest shot I've ever seen in my life. I was like, that guy is a dog. Mm-hmm. But the Bills were puppies. And you can't fight a dog when you're a puppy. Austin, tell us about the um, tell us about the the conspiracy theory about number three, Demar Hamlin. Okay, so this is good. There's videos, pictures, and everything. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna mute him. You muted yourself. Oh, I'm gonna mute him. And I'm gonna okay. I'll have up on these. Theory of my own when you guys are ready. All right, so oh, we can we can hear your theory. There's there's a pictures, there's videos, there's everything about was Demar Hamlin really there? And he didn't show his face. Granted, yes, he did wake up in the hospital. There's pictures. There's evidence of that. But was that him, though? Like, we know he's alive, obviously. Thank God. But was that him? And he didn't show his face? Didn't have any press conference after about him? The video you sent us was, like, speculating that he was dead, though. It was, was like, it? speculating that he was dead. Like, he never came back was, to life. Somebody else was, like, undercover? Yeah, like, someone else is playing Demar him. Hamlin. You know, I... I don't think he's dead. But I, I do think that he is, I don't know. I don't think that was him because, like I said, there, w- there would have been a press conference after the game. They would have asked him questions. That he... I disagree. I think he just wanted to go in and watch the game and get out. I mean, look, think about everything that guy's been through in the last couple of weeks. I think he just wanted to get in there, know. watch his team play, and get out. So do you, do you think that, that was him? I, I don't have any reason not to believe it was him. It was a little weird that he wore a jacket and a hood, though. And, and like, the glass, heat, like, in the heated suite. And, um, what are those bougie glasses, right? Whatever the hell they are. Safety glasses. That's what people are wearing these days. And, like, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. It's weird. Time go, will tell. Go ahead, Zach. Well, it's not so much of a conspiracy as it is actually the actual fact, you know. So much like the rest of America, I was very disappointed in Josh Allen. He had a a very lousy game. He just kind of lied down. And so I was very curious on how this happened. And so I was on the phone this morning with my good friend, Matt Shafter, and he was letting me know about some things that are going on in the league right now. Matt Shafter. 
Yep. And and apparently, <laughs> you know, Josh Allen. Now I gotta ask some... though. I gotta ask. Was that after your conference call with Joe Buck? No, was no, that, no. Was that before or after the con- conference with call Fox. with Joe Buck? I don't have a contract with Fox, so me and Joe can't talk. Oh. But anyways, man, what about Aaron Andrews? Because I need her number. I already <laughs> got it, and I'm not sharing it. But Dang I need it. some answers. I need some answers. What was going on in Josh Allen's head? And so as I'm talking to Schefter, we're starting to realize that uh, Josh Allen never made it to the stadium that day. And the man who was actually wearing his jersey and playing the game was Marvel legend and Parks and Rec superstar Chris Pratt. Really? You're telling me Chris Pratt went out there and slang the football? Well, that's why he didn't perform good. So Josh Allen is a high, high talented QB. He didn't look. At, he didn't look at all like it. And honestly, so you heard. Hold this on, from, wasn't, wait, wasn't there video? Wait, you you heard this from Schefter? Right from Sheffield himself. Dude, wasn't there a video of Josh Allen leaving the stadium to go right to right? Right to the um, hospital? No, there was a video of him in the stadium sitting down after everybody left with the lights off and crying, looking at his phone. Mm-mm. There was a video of Josh Allen leaving the stadium and going right to the hospital. For what? Let me find. For DeMar. Like I said, that, that wasn't him. Bro, I'm, I, I'm more focused video. on the fact that Chris Pratt was playing as Josh Allen. What else did Schefter yeah. tell you? Well, he did tell me that I have a ginger hot shot that hasn't been on the mic in quite a while. So we got to get him. We got to get a couple of rum and cokes in him and get the people <laughs> get the people going. <laughs> as long as the people are going, I'm flowing. You know, that's just how I be. What do I know, though? Did uh, Schefter explain to you at all how Brady's feeling after his divorce? Brady's very confused right now is what he was telling me. He uh he sat down with Tom actually yesterday at the at the Cozy Cove just to get a little bite to eat. And the waitress came by and said, Tom, what would you like? And it took Tom almost five minutes just to order his meal. He he really has no idea what he wants to do right now in life. And it's showing up in his everyday practices. So where do you think Tom what what do you think Tom's decision is gonna be? Did you get any insight from Schefter? Well, we do have some reports showing signs of autism in Tom Brady's brain. Did he take and the so test that we took? I sent him the same exact link that we took. Yep. Are we just going to keep bull- until Chris gets back, or what's the deal here? <laughs> I kind of like the Schefter bit. We can't find the video, but there was a video of Josh Allen leaving the field to go to the hospital for DeMar. That's incredible. But does Chris Pratt not look like Josh Allen? Oh, that's, guys? Dude, I could see it. Yeah, that's one hundred percent confirmed. Yeah. Like well, he, that looks like his long lost twin. But Zach, give us your honest feedback on the game because you are a big, you are a fan of Josh Allen. So, what's your honest feedback on the game? I wish that was my honest feedback because, like I said, Josh Allen absolutely just laid down. I haven't seen in it. You wonder if it's just because of how good Joe Burrow was playing. Like, that could have a a big impact. Like, the worst you're doing as the game progresses, and this guy's over there just just shredding every single possession, it's demoralizing. Joe Burrow absolutely took his belt off and whipped everybody on the Bills team. Hey, just like I did to Alex McNally in college. (laughs) So, You blacked out, baby. Or was it... We got Chris back. Was it that... Damar was there. Was that that um, there for sure were a lot of emotions going on. Right. There's, there's always emotions though. There's always stuff going on as a professional football player making thirty million dollars a year. Your job is to go out there and clear your mind of all the distractions and play football. And Josh Allen just wasn't having a day, no matter what it was. Are we still talk about the Buffalo Bills and well, you missed it. The- you missed DeMar Hamlin was not at the field. I don't care what you say. That was not him. There was a video of Josh Allen leaving 
the stadium after that game and going to the hospital to see DeMar? No. Yes. And, and Chris, we also have reports of Adam Schefter saying that it wasn't Josh Allen that was playing that game. It was actually indeed Marvel superstar in Parks and Rec legend Chris Pratt. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, I don't want to hear about this conspiracy crap. That that wasn't Demar Hamlin. That was that was Joanna Man. Who? That was so we didn't. That was Joanna Man. That was Jordan Peele. <laughs> yeah, that was Britney Jordan Spears. <laughs> Dude, Christopher, I'm telling you, that was not Demar. I'm telling you, that was Demar. Okay, man. This kid, uh, dude, that 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 kid that you saw this stuff from on TikTok is stirring up clickbait, and he's getting crazy views for it. Oh, he's crazy, crazy kickback from it too. I bet. Yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy to me that people are really out there being like he wasn't. A and player. then there's people like Kim that believe that. And what's worse is that people don't believe, you know, what Adam Schefter told Zach to his face about. Zach was on a call with his buddy Adam Schefter the other day, or today, actually, this morning, and Schefter told him that Josh Allen actually just had his lookalike playing the game, and people aren't actually going to believe that, even though it's the truth. Like, because people are so so worried about this DeMar thing that they're not even looking at the real facts, which is that Josh Allen didn't even play that game, and that it was, in fact, Chris Pratt. And that's not from me. That's not from well, Zach. Chris, Chris that's from, that's from Adam Schefter. And with that, I just have to say. With that, Austin I just have the to hammer say. For tonight, baby. Zach, <laughs> never mind Austin, you, Zach. Austin's getting the hammer tonight. We're all hammered. No, Christopher Austin is, is the only saving grace here. Yeah, I mean, Rich, I. That's fair because he's got fatty liver disease, though. <laughs> yeah, he's all, not allowed all, to be hammered. All the more he's reason to get hammered to and be hammered. hammered. That's tough, bro. That's tough. Well, yeah. Oh, I mean, no. Be honest, though, Chris. <laughs> what was your take on the game? Like, what was what was going through your mind watching the game? I mean, we all know Josh Allen didn't really look like Josh Allen, and I'm not. That's not even facetious. Oh, and no, facetious. And let's just let, let me just say this, and it wasn't just Josh Allen. It was that whole team. Mm. They were not on the same page. They were not there to play a playoff game. They were not there looking to go to the Super Bowl. They were looking there. They were there to just play that last game and go home. Yep, and relax on their 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 couches and watch the Super Bowl. That's what it seemed like. That was the game that they played. That's what it really did seem like. Mm-hmm. A lot of nonchalant football going on. That's it. They actually didn't even want to be there, honestly. Right. That, that that's exactly how they played. But on the other hand, Joe Burrow wanted to be there, and he made that very known. Dude, Macaulay. Culkin. Joe Burrow goes out there and plays football like it's his last <clears throat> game. Every game. Every single game, he puts his blood, sweat, and tears into it, like a young Brady. That's right. Yep. And that's what you're seeing, though. People call me crazy, though. Exactly what you're seeing. You you, you are seeing a young Brady out of Joe Burrow right now. Okay, so I'm glad you agree with me on that, Chris, because people think I'm crazy when I compare Joe Burrow to a young Brady. See, listen, you can't really... I'm not not comparing... No, 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 I know. What I'm saying is Joe Burrow needs time, and... Sorry, yeah. a second. No, yeah. Was this the third or second? I don't know year? if he needs time. He's year. on the trail. Okay, so He's this, is, this, is, trail. this is this is this is Joe Burrow's second year uh, in the NFL. Joe He's Burrow's already... second year. I line up the numbers. Line up Joe Burrow's numbers and in, in his second year in the NFL next to Tom Brady's second year in the NFL starting and see what well, you get. It's not even about numbers for me. It's just the way he plays, the heart he has for the game. Like, the effort that he puts in every single game, that's what I'm reminded of. How right. comfortable and calm he is in the pocket. And to be honest, like, I don't know why people think I'm crazy because I'm not the only one that said it. Gronkowski said, like, if I was to come back to the league to play for another QB other than Brady, I'd want to play you for go to Joe the Burrow. Yeah, he said, I'd want to play for Joe Burrow. That guy is cool, bro. He's the the so, beginning, the beginning says, of this year, there was, there was talks about um, Gronk saying... I'm going to go play for Joe Burrow if well, he I, said if, that. No, if, he if I were that. to play. He, that's what I'm saying. For another QB. He said that because Joe Burrow is just, he said, I haven't seen, and I'm pretty, 
I could be misquoting him, but I'm almost positive that he said there's not another QB that's calmer in the pocket than Joe Burrow, aside from Brady. And he's got a trash line. Absolute yeah. trash offensive line. Yeah. He's he's got the he's got the offense around him to be a to be a Brady. Here's my thing with yeah, Joe Burrow. He's got receivers that can get open. Here's why I think Joe Burrow is incredibly successful at what he does. It's really simple, actually. He doesn't do too much. He's not out there trying to run around, throw these weird passes like Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. He finds his man. He throws it to his man. He finds his opening. He runs for his opening. He's not out here running around, <clears throat> freaking out when O linemen come up. Dude, literally, I've like the guy, like a, a, a defensive like linebacker will come at him and he'll like step forward and then throw the ball. Not like most guys are like, oh, they run away. Right. It's, impor mean, it's important to find him in the pocket. When he he reminds first. me of myself in that flag football game. Just cool, cool and collected in the pocket. Oh, boy. No, but seriously, like, he's he's a, he's a great, great quarterback. And honestly, there are only two teams I want to see in or win the Super Bowl. And Bengals it's Bengals and 49ers. And 49ers. Yep. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, I'm I'm thoroughly excited to watch Joe Burrow beat Patrick Mahomes because that's what's going to happen. But we'll get into that in a bit. I'm excited to talk about the 49th game here coming up. Let's talk about it. Why don't you Why don't you lead us into that? Talk about the game, Christopher. I w I'd love to. I've been waiting. I've been waiting to talk about this for a couple is, days now. This is your segment so, right here. So there, there, there's obviously talk about Brock Purdy, right? Mm -hmm. Is Brock Purdy – can Brock – can Brock Purdy get the job done as a rookie, as a last pick in the NFL draft to take these 49ers to the Super Bowl and win it? A lot of people were like, no, we're, we're going to see a decline in performance here because the games are going to get tougher. And, yes, Brock Purdy had a little bit of a decline – um, against the Dallas defense, but all in all, man, he came out and he made his mistakes, and the 49ers still won the game. But and not to mention this this is gonna this is gonna really define like his future. Like this next game, you're gonna see what Brock Purdy's got, and that's gonna that's gonna be the the. Um, the decision of whether or not they're going to move on from from Jimmy G or they're going to keep Jimmy G and still have Brock Purdy as a backup or other teams are going to be looking at Brock Purdy and like, well, wow, he can definitely, you know, come over here and he can start. So the, this game is really going to – And not to mention the Dallas defense something. is – the Dallas defense is probably the – like out of these four teams – Probably the most efficient, mm. and and he clearly got the job done against the the most uh, the, the best defense. So, I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, <clears throat> Zach, what do you think of the kid, <clears throat> Brock Purdy? I got, yeah, I got to see him for the first time this weekend, and let me tell you, Brock Purdy can ball. I, I mean, I think. Maybe even on the same level as Joe Burrow right now, if not better. But like these two guys, I hope to see that in the championship for the Super Bowl game. It's got to um, be, got to be there. Yeah. What? You know, Brock Purdy, he's putting on a clinic every single game. He's a fantastic quarterback. He kind of reminds me, guys, of a young Stetson Bennett. You know, so Brock Purdy, he's really getting it done out there. <laughs> ah, let's go. Let me. Ask we you, haven't seen a young, a young Stetson Bennett in five, six years. Yeah, that's that's for sure. I mean, Stetson <laughs> Bennett's got socks older than I am. Um, <laughs> let me ask you this though, Zach. Do you live <clears throat> under a rock? In a roundabout way. Do you live under a freaking rock? This was the first time I got to see Brock Purdy this past weekend. What do you mean this is the first time, bro? Brock Purdy's been slinging it since, like, what, week 15? I haven't seen him yet. What do you mean? 
You're cute. You're cute. Y'all really? Are you, y'all serious I, right now? I haven't seen him ball. No. Are you serious? He, Adam, let me ask you a question. Oh, he, he my. Went- I'm doing. Chris. We are doing a podcast with people that haven't even watched these, like these people they're talking about play. I you know I've what? never spent I'm a sorry, damn word of money for dirty bird. I don't have money for to pay sixty five dollars a don't month. Don't cry poverty to me. I I dude, what? Yeah, right. Listen, I have you know a kid. I sound like this. Really, the, this is kind of the one of the most irritating things that really gets to me about active NFL players in the league. They they'll be talking on their own podcast, ex ex NFL players fresh out of the league, one or two years, maybe three years, and they're talking about yeah, who was that? Who was that guy that ran that ball all the way, scored that touchdown? Oh, oh, his name's Joe Mixon. Oh yeah, yeah, him. Are you kidding me? You played with this guy two or three years ago. You don't even remember his name, dude. This happens all the time. I cannot believe it. It's um. You guys are doing the same thing. <laughs> We're hammered. Yeah, you're both oh, hammered for that. Both hammered. Well, listen. Double tap. Brock Purdy. I mean, can I necessarily hold Brock Purdy responsible for that game? No. Here's why I say that. The Eagles did what the uh, not the Eagles. The Cowboys did what the Cowboys were destined to do: choke. However, Brock Purdy had a heck, <laughs> heck of a game. He had a heck of a game. Um, and that last hit of the game, I don't even remember who it was that just got absolutely crumpled on Dallas Dallas's offense. It was what fourth and nine, something like that. Dak Prescott passes the ball and just kid got just folded in half. Folded. Dallas lost yet again. <coughs> they have not made it. Choke. Past the second round of the playoffs since I don't even Do you know what since year nine, since since uh since 93, they haven't gone past the second oh round. Since gosh. they have, they have now gone past the divisional round since 1993. Wow. That is just embarrassing. And I was how saying many, it all How along. many more weapons do you guys need? How many right. more weapons do you guys need? Zeke, Super Pollard, well, Lamb, Zeke is y'all, y'all the most, probably the, the most, one of the most loaded NFL teams in the NFL right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think um well, first of all, I don't think Zeke is all that great anymore. No. He's definitely Zeke, not. Ah. Zeke said that he's Tony be, and Pollard's on the listen, shine and that's just Zeke said is. I'd be willing to take a pay cut to stay with Dallas. He literally said that. It's like you better hope that Dallas keeps you. Or even wants you. Right. You better well, hope here's- because listen, Here's buddy, another Tony year Pollard. where you didn't even make a thousand rushing yards, another year where you had a terrible playoff run, your 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 stats in the playoffs were absolute dog water. Do you know how many fumbles you had this year? How many? Fourteen. Oh my! That's most in the league. It's Fourteen fumbles this year. It's most in the league. It's gotta be. Oh yeah. 100%. Oh my gosh. Let's not forget that Tony Pollard broke his leg. Yeah. Ah. So. There, there's going to be questions to see if he can return it, you know, as the same Tony, Tony Pollard that we saw all, you know, this whole year. So, I mean, I got to be Hopefully. honest with you, Christopher, though. I, bro- I broke my foot twice and I'm still the same QB. Okay, then he should be fine then. Exactly. <laughs> 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 oh, man. But, man, 49ers got it done. Let's get into. Um, yeah, Our conference championship games. These are where it all comes down to. Who's going to the Super Bowl? We got the 49ers facing off against the Philadelphia Eagles. This is going to be a game. The order, as usual, is going to go me, Austin, Zach, and we'll... Or, no, we'll, we'll go me, Austin, Christopher, and then we'll end with Zach. 49ers at... Uh, 49ers... 
facing off in Phil- – are they playing in Philadelphia? I know Philly's technically no, home. I believe they're playing in Atlanta. I thought the Bengals were playing in Atlanta. Let me double check. Yeah, do a double check for us. While you do that, I still think the 49ers are going to win. And it's going to be a score of um, 17 to 10, 49ers. I got 49ers. It's going to be 64. <laughs> Easy kidding. there, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's going to be four. So 49ers are going to win. It's going to be 20. Seven to twenty. Interesting. That's actually a solid pick. Yeah. Zach. I'm going last. Oh yeah, you're right. Christopher. Yeah. Niners or Eagles? What city are they playing in, Chris? Um, let's see. Says, there's no way. I think they're playing at uh, 49ers. They're Lincoln playing in Philly. Financial field, yeah. Yep. That would make sense. Okay, I don't understand so. how that works, by the way. Like, That's why they're favored to win, because the they're points. home. They got the better record, too. Not by much. <laughs> no, but. Um, they also play so, easier yeah. teams. I'm gonna. I'm going. I'm going 49ers. I'm, I'm going 49ers because one, the 49ers defense is tough as nails. They're immaculate. definitely gonna be uh, stuffing the run all game long. They're gonna force Jalen Hurts to pass the ball, irritate that shoulder a little bit. So, um, I'm going. I'm going 49ers on this one, and I'm gonna say. Um, Twenty seven twenty four. Zach. In honor of Robert De Niro, Bradley Cooper, and Jennifer Lawrence. I'm gonna break the streak here. Everyone's everyone's going with the Niners. Everyone's going with Dirty Purdy. Bro, Give me them to. Eagles, baby. Forty four. To four. Oh my god. Philadelphia gosh. win. You're hammered. Oh my gosh. Four forty four. That's Jay Z's album, baby. That's uh my sister's my sister was born at four forty four. No. She's naive. Andale, andale, mam. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Zach, can I ask you a question? Anytime, man. Anytime. Were you, were you dropped on your head as a kid? Multiple times, man. Multiple times. Okay, it makes yes, sense. he was too. dropped on his head as a kid. He was dropped on his head. He was beaten. He was a smitten and afflicted. And I'll tell you Your this. Your parents right are now, hammered, He guy. is the dumbest person that I know out of anybody <laughs> in this whole universe. If he thinks that Brock Purdy is going to lose to the Philadelphia Eagles by 40 points, bro. By 40 points. Zack Snyder, you are hammered. You are shot. You are all messed up. You don't know what you're talking about. It's the first game I've seen Brock Purdy play. Well, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Proper number 12, Irish whiskey. I was going to say, I was going to say, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And then, you said, and then you said, shut your mouth. So now I just say, blow me. And I will. <laughs> Eagles I've win. Said it, before, it, it might not be by again. 40 points, but the Eagles win, I guys. I said it before. I'll say it again. Give me the time and place, Mr. Snyder, and it'll be the best blow you'll ever receive in your life. And I can promise you that. I can promise you that. Brother, I can promise you that. Brother, brother, brother. Next game, Bengals yeah, and bud. Chiefs. Yeah, bud. Bud. Bengals and Chiefs. Give me the Bengals, bro. Um, this is this one's easy for me. Give me the Bengals. I'm going to say... Let's see. 
Let's go. Um, ooh, ooh. Let's go thirty-five. I was, I was close. I'm getting close to that. Two. Twenty-four. All right. With a high ankle sprain on Patrick Mahomes, I think Joe Burrow is going to be fueled. I think that uh, Joe Burrow is Patrick Mahomes' kryptonite. He cannot beat him. Um, he has not yet. Uh, and I think if Joe Burrow plays as, as half as good as he did this past weekend, I think it'll be uh, it'll be no problem for for him. So, yeah, thirty five to twenty four, uh, Bengals. All right. Well. I'm going Bengals here, although their corners are garbage. But Eli Apple do be burnt like toast. Yep. But then again, the Chiefs wide receivers aren't that good either, so it'd be a good matchup. Juju Smith Schuster, washed. Big time. Although although Tony be Kadarius, he's an ex he's, he's an ex Giant. Dude, he's 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 getting there. Probably the <laughs> player in the NFL. The shittiest? Yeah, I know. Um, 50th. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go Bengals here. 36 to 17. Christopher. Yeah, I'm going with a, with um, the Welcome to the Jungle Bengals. Welcome to the Jungle! That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it's going to be um, – I'll say 20 to 14. 28-14? 20 to 14. All right. Zach, you don't happen to have a uh, – Hey, Chiefs. Yeah, you don't happen to have like a, a en- entry song for this, do you? I always well, like let me when, just say- when Zach plays some music – and it, it rolls into his. It's his usually statement. the Red Kingdom, isn't it? it? Well, no. He he. Like one time when we were talking, when we were talking about the Eagles or not the Eagles, the the Lions, Packers game earlier this year, he went on this whole thing, and it was like, he started he started giving the Eminem speech, into till I collapse, oh, yeah. and then played till I collapse. And, yeah, it was pretty epic. But go ahead, Zach. Well, listen, that was a good bit. I'm not one to recreate bits. Oof. But I just want to say, boys. We're here, right? This is the last pick until the Super Bowl. We made it the entire season. Football is just like life. It's highs and lows. You know, we saw Brock Purdy win in last week. Well, you didn't see it. We saw I, I actually did it for the first time. I saw Brock Purdy. Oh, that's right, that's yeah. right. That's right. You said you did. We saw Joe Burrow play like an absolute stud. We saw Patrick Mahomes barely escape on one leg. So what do we got for this week, guys? I'm going against the grain as usual. I think Joe Burrow is going to throw four interceptions. And I think Patrick Mahomes is going to pull it out and get himself back to the Super Bowl. I got the Chiefs. You know what? 44 to 44 and a half. Let's go. I'm I'm not even going to give you the hammer because I don't need to. But. Zach, I just want to say it to your opening statement. You're right. It has been a beautiful season. This this podcast has been amazing. I got one thing to say to you, Zach. But but I'm not going to say it. I'm going to leave it to uh, Jack Harlow. I keep it thorough. I got five chicks in New York. That means one in each borough. I'm in the pocket like bro. When I'm back home, no, they treat me like Robert De Niro. So good to talk about butter and churro. Took her home, gave her a cinnamon swirl. I left it in. Now I don't want- in the pocket like bro. Yeah, no shot, Zach. No shot that Patrick Mahomes is going to beat Burrow. Name, Although, a song that, name a song that Patrick Mahomes is is mentioned in. There's not one. There is. What? Actually. What, what does it go? The, I, I don't know. I see rainbows. Or what? The Kermit? Oh, the Kermit. Why are there so yeah. many? No, he sings Songs that. About he sings that. That's different. Zach, I think you're shot. You're hammered. You're shot. Um... But I, I we need to go back into this because Zach, your team that you liked for the Super Bowl winning uh, was eliminated by Joe Burrow. Ironically, um, really, Devin, you're gonna call now? No. 
Unbelievable. Let's talk about our picks for the Super Bowl. I'm still going strong. I, I want to see Bengals against the 49ers. Ultimately, I'd like to see the Bengals win it all. Um, so that's my pick for the Super Bowl. Mr. Rahilly? I'm, I'm going the same as you. Bengals, 49ers, man. That would be amazing. Brock Purdy. Um, Is that who you want to win, Brock Purdy? Oh, we're doing that. Yeah, like who do you want to win? Oh, Bengals, of course. Okay. I think it's Joe Burrow's time to shine. I think it's McCulley I, Culkin. I, it's going to go down. Woo! Woo! Um, Christopher, what's your uh, what's your pick for the Super Bowl? You still staying strong with Bengals, uh, Bengals Niners? I'm still staying strong with the Bengals Niners, but I'm going with the 49ers, and I'm going with the Cinderella story, man. Okay. I'm going with I'm going with Mr. Irrelevant and the never happening story. Mm. Brock Purdy as the last pick of the NFL draft, taking the 49ers to the Super Bowl and winning it. It would be a heck of a story. Yes. Yes, it For, would, and it makes it so would, much sense. It would, but it's not going to happen because oh. it's literally Joe Burrow's exactly. time to shine. It's, it's true. Exactly. It's Joe Burrow's yeah, time to shine. Yeah, yeah it's 100% I true. Wanna see, I want to see I want to see how Joe Burrow does against the I, best defense in the NFL. To be fair, to be fair, I think that defense is going to give him a little bit of uh, going to give him a little bit of trouble if they do end up in the Super Bowl. It's going to be a little bit of trouble. It's going to be a low scoring game though. But but I just don't think that Brock, Brock Purdy will be able to keep up with him offensively. I, I personally don't. But that doesn't matter cuz we're not even there yet. But I'm glad that you you've you've kept your picks. Um, and yeah, I do no, think I, it's Joe Burrow's year. I think this is his year. I, I, I think this is his, his year of, of redemption. Zach, I, honestly, the, no. I think Apple. I think that it's so th- that would be a very very good test for Joe Burrow. Yeah, that will be the breaking point. That'll be: Are you good? Or are you just a fluke? Or you know, th- that's that's what it comes down oh, to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fluke, yeah. but well, no, yeah, not, not a think, fluke. I, I don't think he's gonna a be fluke. A, no, he's definitely it's gonna be a test. Yeah. It's gonna be a huge test, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, and if he succeeds that, he'll be the best quarterback in the league. Yeah, for sure, Zach. Can, well, can hold on. Offensive line, hold up. Yeah, against the edge, this against true. the linebackers, against, that, against, yeah. the, against those edges and that and that front and the linebackers. Yeah. Boom! I mean, dude, <laughs> dude, dude, dude. I'm telling, dude. The 49ers have the Predator. Yeah, Fred Warner. Do have the Predator. Fred Warner. That guy's a dog, bro. Dude. Dude. He's underrated. What? Harvey- what? Do not say Harvey Fred Warner. Weinstein. Fred Warner is the best linebacker in the NFL. Zach was about to say Harvey Weinstein. You said who? I said, what about Harvey Weinstein? No, Chris, you said Fred Warner is the best linebacker in the I, NFL. I think Fred Warner is the best linebacker in the NFL. Well, that's bold. That is bold. But, Zach, we that's need to get very into bold, but I am not far off at all. Zach, who do we – who who, do you, who are you liking for the Super Bowl now that your team's Well, let out? me just – yeah, I'm still a hammer, by the way. You know what Austin was saying about – Joe Burrow makes a lot of sense because there there starts to be a stigma to where it's like, yeah, you can win games, but can you win the game? Mm-hmm. You know, like if right. like yeah. it's a big thing to get to the Super Bowl, but winning it is a whole nother level. Like Peyton Manning only won one Super Bowl and he's one of the best quarterbacks of all time. You know, right. So so and Drew Brees. Right, yeah. And yep. Drew Brees is still at the Saints to this uh, day. Brett Hart. <laughs> Didn't Brett Favre did you, only win did one? Did you just hear what he said? <laughs> Could you repeat that, Zach? Well, to my recollection, that is. Was that what Schefter told you this morning? <laughs> I got That's reports that Drew early Brees just wrapped back up. He's back so you in got the Peyton Manning, you got Drew Brees, and you got Brett Aaron Favre. Aaron Rodgers. Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, too. Only winning yeah. one, one yeah. Super Bowl and still the best, one of the best four quarterbacks to ever play the game. Yeah. Absolutely, but continue with what a your pick of, is. A lot of quarterbacks have also won a Super Bowl too. E- 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 Eli Manning, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> with Eli, to be honest with you, Peyton's better. But, so. as, we're, but as we're talking about 
Uh, oh, no, Peyton's a better you know, quarterback. Eli point. has more chips. But as we're talking about incredible stories, you know, it has – I mean, the Brock Purdy story is phenomenal. Yeah. You know, but I think there's another story out there, guys, okay? It's a young man who was benched by Nick Saban for a fellow named Tua, who is now in a hospital bed with his head cracked open, and and the guy who was benched is saying, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know who that is? That's mother Jalen Hurts, baby. He about to be a Super Bowl champ. I got the Eagles going all the way. Eagles are the Super Bowl champions. That's my new pick. Who are they going to be facing off against? The, the other team that I picked, man, the Chiefs. Eagles Chiefs. Interesting. Jeez. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. Um, wow. You know, Zach, if you weren't, like, an internet brother to me. If you weren't cool. <laughs> I'd punch you in your face. <laughs> Austin, you can blow me, too. Dude, I, no. dude, me and Adam, me and Adam would just both like, you know, two mouths, one dick. I've, I've said it twice. I'll say it a third time on this podcast. <laughs> give me the time. Give me the place. It'll be the best blow of your life. I'm gonna give There's you that too gluck, many gluck, 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 three <laughs> thousand. But listen, Austin, I'm gonna make you forget think... about everything you've ever felt in your life. It's gonna be better than your first touch of a woman. And trust me on that, Zach. Trust me on that. Here's what I think is funny, though, Austin, because this is the first week that I picked both higher seeds, and you guys both picked the lower seeds. And that, and 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 that's that's the beauty of it. Both of the underdogs are gonna come away with it because that's what's gonna happen. I've been picking the underdogs every week, and I've been hammered. And now that I'm picking the favorites, I'm also hammered. Blow me! Listen, <laughs> you say it a third time, you'll say it the fourth. <laughs> I've said it three times. Don't make me say it a fourth, but you give me the time and the place. <laughs> and I'll make that dream happen for you, Zach. This is going to be the blowout um, podcast. But... Let me, <laughs> let me, let me ask you this. Episode. Let me ask you this, Zach. You're talking about seeds, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Tell me, about, tell me about seeds, brother. Why are the, are the seeds so important to you? Oh, the seeds are important, but the seeds also tell you who the underdog is. And I'm just making a statement that every week I've been picking the underdogs. Well, let me ask like, you oh, this. I, 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 I don't think some, Adam's talking hey, about that. Hey, no, 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 hey, I am. I am. Hey, oh, okay. mother- and sometimes that underdog wins, don't they? That's why this week you guys are both, uh, all three of y'all, are picking the underdogs. I'm okay. swapping it up on you, man. Okay, listen. Let me give you this. I Zach. got the prophecy. You're talking about prophecy. You're talking about seeds, but let me hit you with a good book real quick. Matthew 13, verse 3, And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of the earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away, and some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Listen up. Take your ears and let them hear. I'm going to describe all, all four of these teams right now. Stony places. They had not much earth. That's the Philadelphia Eagles. Yep. There's a chance that they grow through the stone. But they haven't hit the earth. They're way high on these winds. They haven't touched down to earth. Okay? And then when the sun came up, Brock Purdy, San Francisco 49ers, bringing that warm weather from San Fran, it's going to scorch them. Okay? Then some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. You know who that is, right? That's Patrick motherfrickin' Holmes. His thorn in his flesh, that high ankle sprain. You know who's going to take advantage of that? 
Joe Cool Ooh. and the Cincinnati Bengals. <clears throat> and that's a prophecy if you want to hear a prophecy. Closing statements, fellas. Well, go 49ers, go Bengals. It is what it is. Oh, John entered the chat. Oh my gosh. We <clears throat> this is What's this up, is stupid? This is crazy. This is crazy. We were about to end the show. And John entered the chat. We got to make this quick, John. We're not going to talk about the Chiefs win because we already talked about that. We just want your pick against Patty Mahomes' kryptonite, Joe Burrow. And is that he winning? stupid high ankle sprain that he's got. Joe Burrow's only beaten Patrick Mahomes by three points every time he's won. So Still I think this a is wins the game and to win. do it. Even with a high angle I think sprain? this is the game to do it. Even don't matter, don't matter if you win by inch or a mile, winning's winning. It doesn't matter. Dumb- yes. wow. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If he has a high, low, it doesn't matter. DeMar was not at the game. It doesn't matter. What? <laughs> what? Well, John, you, Pastor John, you missed it. I just quoted some scripture to these fellows. Oh, what about- a good word. Well, Zach was talking about this is the week that I'm picking the high seeds in the in the NFL, and I so I quoted the parable. Well, this is the week of the sower the and the seed, uh, and and I explained that the um, the you know Kansas City Chiefs were the seed that fell into the thorny ground, and that that high ankle sprain is the thorn in Patrick Mahomes' flesh, and he's going to get strangled out. By Joe Burrow. Can I play Paul was still quick? the best preacher of all time with yeah, a thorn in his flesh, do? baby. We're gonna go. We're going all the way. We're going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, let me. Plug it's you all in. day. I don't think so. It's all day. It's I... all day. We're going to the Super Bowl. Tom Brady's never going back to the Patriots. Nothing can fix that organization. Not even an offensive coordinator can fix those well, bum John, receivers. John's got some bum to play quarterback. For you. John's got some bum, bum, re- bum receivers. It's terrible. Your bum Chiefs receivers. have bum you receivers. Juju Smith-Schuster is bum. Juju Smith-Schuster is a dog. He's a bum. Did you He's see him against the Dark Horse? A dog. All right, let me let me play a something dog. for you guys real quick. Up. A and dog. Let me, go ahead. Go ahead. let me share a vibe Hold with up. you about the team that you think is going to win, okay? Oh, my gosh. There's I'm a trying, Bible Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to play something for John here. Make sure your volume's up. It is up. You're trying to play something. You're breathing mad hard oh, on yeah. the mic, God damn it. This one's for the city of San Francisco. Genesis 1924. And God reigned so for the entire In all that plain. Yo, shut up. The I'm playing it. Ready, John? All I want to hear is the Chiefs. I don't give a dang. Oh I don't God. give a dang about a high ankle. Shut that up. That was his flu. Shut up, John. That was his shut flu up. Game. Shut up. That was his flu shut game. Up. He is dr- He's muted. The Kansas. That's amazing. <laughs> All your ladies amazing. pop your pussy like this. Oh my Take gosh! Your body to <laughs> Zach, I want to hear the good the good book you quoted. Say it again. Say it before. Couldn't even say play it. it. Again. Couldn't even play it. No, Tried we to played slander it. Slander the Kansas City Chiefs. No, it played. No, he was on mute. That's why. I do yeah, it again. No, it def- no, no, it definitely played. Oh, he was on mute. Oh, oh, oh. no, no, you were on mute. You were on mute. We we put you on mute, John. I'll whoop you in Madden any day, bro. John, no, don't say that, John, because you're so bad at Madden, dude. I want to see it, John. You are so bad at Madden. I want, I, 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 I don't want to expose you on the dude. Air, I'll, I'll beat you in a boxing match any day. Oh my bro, oh we're going to put the gloves on. Bro, let's live. put the gloves on. Oh, my god! Let's put the gloves on. Dude, I'll beat you. Dude, I will beat you. Like... I will beat the brakes off of you. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'll beat you like Joe Burrow is going to be like can't, uh, Patrick bro. Mahomes this weekend. It's going to be like Ivan Someone's Dragon getting beat like a red-headed stepchild. Yeah, him. Adams, Adams oh. is going to be thrown in the town. and still going to just be whooping your ass. It's going to go crazy. <laughs> no, dude. I'm telling you. Zack Snyder's gonna be in my corner. I'm gonna say if he dies, he dies. Bro, he do you dies. know? Do you know how big I am? He dies, He's just he as dies. big. 
John is just. I'm 6'6, 300 pounds, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're not 6'6. Six, six. <laughs> Good job. Baby, I'm six foot nine, three hundred and fifty pounds of fun. pure muscle. <laughs> you sound my like name is Vladimir Vitrigosino. Oh. oh my god! You, you ever hear the legend? You ever hear the legend of you the uh, the famed Russian fighter Vladimir Vitrigosino? First name Vasily. Vladimir. Well, I beat him. <laughs> And the record of our fights is what, Zach? What's the record of me and Vlad's fights? I think it's 0-3 from Vlad's point of view. It's 0-4! Oh, no, but I want to see that. No, I, I, I'll go I, I'll go probably three rounds before I knock Austin out, honestly. Oh, my. Bro, you don't, I, I don't, I, I'll, I don't I'll need three two. rounds. That's the thing. I don't need three rounds. I need two seconds Austin's to knock here. your ass out. Austin's over here like, first round, decapitation. That's what I'm saying, dude. All right. I'm going to hit you with the final fatality. Oof. That's crazy. So, you, so you're 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 that nerd, right? Finish Oh, him. what did you play? Street, what did you play? True Fighter? No, I play Madden like a real, like a real man. I don't play no Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Because you were living you have a Mortal man Kombat dinosaur, in the streets of wheel estates Bro. growing up. <laughs> you had to go fight off the thugs in wheel estates. Dude, me and Christopher were Yo, like... You said, Trayvon, why'd you take my bike? That's so it. <laughs> Finish him. That's what happened. Uh, but um, let's do closing statements because we got to wrap this show up. We've been going for a bit. Um, Christopher, closing statements. This is it. This is Sparta this weekend. Mm. This is it Sparta. It really is. All right. Uh, 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 ja, John, any closing statements? I've got the Chiefs by 20. <laughs> and I'm going to knock Austin Allen in the first round. <laughs> Man, I love to see it. Okay. Uh, Zach, any closing statements? Listen, I think we set it up. I think that I am right there behind Jonathan, and Malachuk is right there behind Austin. And we set this we set this boxing match oh, up. Oh, dude, I have so money on Austin all day long. Uh, but that's the NFL. It's going to be the Chiefs and the Eagles. And if you think it's not, blow me. Don't make me say this a fifth time. <laughs> Give me the time and place, and it will happen. Here's my closing statement. Brain is yellow, like girl, but a brain is shoot my shot. I'm still with the demons. Ooh, I keep it thorough. I got five chicks in New York, that means one in each borough. I'm in the pocket like Burrow. When I'm back home, no, they treat me like Pocket like Burrow, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna see him in the Super Bowl, and he's gonna win it all. He's coming back with vengeance. That's my closing statement. Do you have anything you wanna add to that, Austin? Yeah, of course. Um, John is gonna get knocked out in 30 seconds. Um put that put that shit on pay-per-view. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be Bengals and 49ers is the Super Bowl, and Joe Burrow is going to take it. All right, cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as always, we want to thank our guests, Zach, John, Chris. Thanks for coming, as always. And uh, remember, like, subscribe, comment. Tell us what we should do next. Tell us what we you want us to talk about. Um, the people want the fight. <laughs> they do want the fight. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook. As always, this has been the Penford Sports Podcast, your place for all news, drama, and updates on the NFL. We are excited. We are getting into the conference championship round. And after that, it is the Super Bowl. So, thanks for watching. Have a great night, America.